I don't want to save the planet today. It's boring and tedious and footery and endless. I am sick to death of the injunctions I carry around in my head. Carry a cloth bag. Don't use plastic. Foreign holidays are unacceptable. Walk or cycle instead of driving. Grow food in your garden. Only eat organic vegetables, except when the air miles involved are excessive. Don't shop in supermarkets, and if you must, never in Tesco's. Buy local as much as possible, and everything fair trade that's available. Always support community ventures and small businesses in your area. Order books from bookshops and not online. Only wear natural fibres. Use non-bio washing powder. Clean your house with lemon and vinegar. Reuse what you can, recycle the rest. Turn off all lights and electrical equipment and don't put on the heating until you're absolutely freezing. I just want to stop. I'd like to give up. I want to admit I don't give a fuck because I don't want to save the planet today. It is boring and tedious and foodery and endless. I want to... I want to take off in a fast, zany car. I fancy an Alfa Romeo. Cruise down the road with the music up loud. Because I've just about had it with saving the planet. I used to fast over Christmas. It was my personal protest, a controlled implosion of outrage that those who professed to celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace still waged war in his name. But then I had children, had to make Christmas time magical again. We made pastry cutouts of Christmas trees, went for walks to gather festoons of ivy and holly leaves with red berries as baubles. Stuck paper snowflakes on the window panes. The times it really snowed in winter became legend. Life has blunted my sharp edged certainties, worn down the spiky politics of my youth. I've become softer, gentler, milder, <laughs> like our winters. Yet, my personal climate change still leaves me prone to sudden storms and flash floods. My heart aches for a soul circle where we humans form the hub and in the centre, divine spirit is guiding all in love. A circle of equals, united in interest, celebrating the diversity we find within our midst, knowing our strength is in our differences, our willingness to hold conflicting perspectives. But all there is is usens with our faults and failures and foibles and all the bits left over from our imperfect childhoods. Anger and fear, pain and impotence, endless battles of our little egos, our incompetent communication and inability to handle conflict. So how is it going to work then, this transition to the future? When each of us embodies the woundings of our culture, we fumble our way forward, keep 
speaking truth. Keep listening. Keep going until we find that place of healing. Evolve into a soul circle where we humans form the hub and in the centre, Divine Spirit is guiding us in love. And if we really are going to hell in a four-wheel drive, let us love the turning leaves and mist with all our hearts, flight of starlings, smell of marmite and toast, cat fur soft, warm underhand. Cherish sharing conversation, moments of kindness with strangers. Clearing up after children, fresh cheeks while walking along trodden paths in mud cake shoes. Meaningless chatter, sunset and lamplit foggy streets, instant linking with friends and family, snowflakes swirling in headlights, jostle of folk in noisy markets, loud rock music, scent of coffee bean, relish a banana, the luxury of rowing with lovers and making up the next day, the ache of bones and panting of breath, the privilege of buying a new one whenever we want, whatever it is. All of it, cherish it now, for the party ending is in the air. If it be now, tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. And while we debate the arrangement of the deck chairs, let us join hands. Be true, be real. Let our tears water the earth, our souls paint the sky, our dreams and prayers go up in smoke, our lives be shattered if that's what it takes. For we are here now at this time, perhaps for the last time in this form with no epitaph. Let us hope without hope that our fossil remains will someday be held in curious wonder by other fingers one fine summer morn, millennia from now. I place my hope on the water, where it joins your hope and his hope and hers and theirs, and it becomes our hope. A thousand candles swirling in the stream, carried by the current. Some flickering, some caught by rocks or weeds or willows hanging over the bank, but all these lights float away from us. A flotilla of hope, becoming a larger light becoming a distant glow, becoming a beacon, becoming our gift to those who live downstream. I'm Dervla Bradley. I'm Rachel Klein. And I'm Joe Waterworth. Check out our links. We're available for bookings. You can even buy the whole booklet. <laughs>